Hey guys, in this video we are talking about the division rule of logarithms. So to identify whether or not you have the division rule of logarithms, look at what you have. You should have log to any base of something where it's one number being divided by another, a letter being divided by another letter, like a variable, or a number being divided by a variable, whatever you have. So the rule says that log base A of something divided by something equals log of the same base of whatever's on top minus log of the same base of whatever's on the bottom. And so, for example, if we had log of 1 over 4, that would be, let's do 2 over 4 instead, that would be log of 2 minus log of 4. If you have log x over y, that would be, let's make it a base this time, let's say base 2. That would be log of the same base of x minus log of the same base of y. So, let's do another one together. Let's say we had log of base 10 of 100 over x. That will be the same as log base 10 of 100 minus log base 10 of x. Log base 10 of 100, what that means is the exponent you put on 10 to make 100 is what? 10 to the power of something equals 100. Well, isn't 10 squared equal to 100? 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100? So we could replace log 10 of 100 with 2, and we will get 2 minus log to the base of 10 of x is equivalent to log 10 of 100 over x. You might see questions where you're asked to do the opposite. You'll see it written as one log minus another log, and you'll need to put it into log a of m over n form. So if you had log base 4 of x minus log base 4 of 25, that would be log to the same base of the first thing over the second thing. So log base 4 of x minus log base 4 of 25 would be equivalent to log base 4 of x over 25. You might see questions where there's more than just the division rule happening. You might see log 2 of x plus log 2 of y minus log 2 of z. This is the product rule, and this is the division rule. So, you can think of it as sort of two separate steps. First, we need to apply the product rule, which would be log 2 of... Whenever we have the product rule, we multiply x times y, and that is being divided by z. So we would have log 2 of xy over z. You might also see the product rule. You could see log base 5 of 20 minus 3 log base 5 of 6. Now this 3 really belongs as the exponent on 6. So this should be log 5 of 6 cubed, and log 5 of 20. We don't have to change that just yet. This would simplify down to log 5 of 20 over 6 cubed.